here it goes wave three tape two remote viewing before i get into this tape there's something i wanted to mention uh because i think it's related to the tapes so i just want to start off by saying that the purpose of this channel is for me to record my experiences and journey with the tapes so if i lie that defeats the entire purpose of what i'm doing and that like why would i make so many tapes and, and videos if i'm just going to make up information so i'm just saying what really happened to me okay so something happened that i didn't really want to mention because i didn't think it was related but i think it is okay so i think you noticed some bruises on my face so something did happen to me about two weeks ago so i got jumped and my face was like pretty messed up no no permanent damage though okay so i got jumped by two people i ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time so and i thought that was random right i thought that was random but but by the way when it did happen right at that moment i knew it was because i knew the reason i knew it was because of a tape but i had no proof right so I, I, I couldn't make that relation that it was because of the tape what happened to me. But then, so the week after, I just stayed at home, right? The doctor gave me a, a note. I, I could just stay, I stayed in my room the entire week. So because I had a lot of free time, I spent a lot of it working, right? And during that week, I had an aha moment for my job. I figured it out. And I proved it. I used the, the information that I had into practical use the following week. And it worked exactly as predicted. It, it's crazy. I was trying then to, to, see, to see if the tapes had anything to do with it. I had a feeling it did. Since the thing that happened to me did, at that moment I knew something had to do with the tape. It had to do with the tapes. So I tried to connect some dots, okay? So in tape 2.1, intro to flow 12, I, I, had, I, I had met with someone and spoke with them. If you see my recording, my video I made on that tape, and I asked for help about my job, and I received two new informations, okay? So I realized that the aha moment was a combination of three information. I, I've been using the two that I received in that tape, and I found the th missing piece of the puzzle. So I received the information that actually works, and I just had to add to it to, to set it off, to get it really, really going. Like now I'm confident it's going to work, like so confident. And then I connected another dot. In tape 2.3, one month patterning, in the video title, I wrote, be careful. So I asked for two things. The first thing is working, amazing. And then the first thing, I was, I was very careful because so I said, be careful is like, if, it, okay, someone told me this. For this tape, what happens if you ask something, the universe will bring it to you with the path of least resistance. So something bad can happen if that means it's easier to get to your target. So that when I said be careful is that you have to clarify when you when you ask for something in the tape. I was careful for the first thing I asked and it happened very naturally. It's still working, it's amazing. But the second thing, I'll be honest, I realized that I was a bit desperate. I wasn't clear enough. I just wanted to work. I just wanted to find a solution. I didn't clarify that I didn't want anything bad to happen. So because if you saw that video, I talked about, there's many stories, and there's one story of a guy who met his wife, but he met her by having an accident, and she was at the, at the accident site. She was waiting with him while, until the ambulance came. That's how he met her. He asked for her to meet his wife soon on this tape, by doing this tape, and that's how he met her. So that made me think, because if I didn't have this weak cough, of free thinking, I don't think I would have had this aha moment. I would have, would have been just carrying on, not having enough, enough time to think. And so something bad happened, so then I, I had a week off. 
that recovery allowed me to find the missing piece. So I, I think it's very related. Let me know what you think. Okay, again, I just want to clarify that the purpose of these videos is to keep a track of my experiences and the purpose is not to entertain or to make content or to invent information or experiences. So, so I just want to make that clear. What, everything I'm saying is what really happened to me, okay? So, remote viewing. This tape is about trying to see things without being there finding things so we need a partner for this experience there's three parts the first one is that our partner has to write numbers on a piece of paper put those numbers in an envelope and put that envelope somewhere in their home Number, the second part is they have to take a cotton ball and put it somewhere in their house okay the third part is about me trying to send a telepathic message to the other person. Those are the three things. So I found someone I've been talking to for a while who started the tapes around the same time as me and we've been kept, kept in touch and I asked him if he could be my partner for this experiment. So, so, so what we have to do is use the energy bar tool. That was really important for this experiment. That, there's, there was a whole tape about it in wave two. I think, yeah, wave two. And we used this to try and, and achieve these objectives. So the objectives are to try and read the numbers that the person wrote. We don't know the number. I, I don't know the numbers. We have to know where the pers person put that envelope, where, and we have to know where that per person put the cotton ball. And we have to send a telepathic message. By the way, for the third step, I, I, I passed out. I, I slept by that time. I couldn't stay awake, mind awake, body asleep for that long. So I didn't get to part three. We did part one and part two. So we had to use the energy bar tool. We had to put one end of it here. Like they said, put it where, where's your consciousness? I, I just started, I put one end here and then we have to Put the other end as if it was like a telescope trying to see the things right trying to see where the locations of the envelope cotton ball are the numbers what they are and and the third part i didn't do okay so it was it was kind of a, a hard it was it was a difficult experience because i wasn't trying to imagine numbers or imagine the location i wanted real proof right so um, it's really dark. So it's really dark, but I do feel like I'm like pointing this thing, and when I move it, like I kind of I, th different intensities and radiations appear as I'm moving this energy bar tool. Right? I'm moving it to try and find the locations. It's really hard because okay, I was able to get numbers. They were red, like fiery red. I can see numbers, right? But it was hard because I'm not trying to imagine or say oh i heard this i'm trying to get like get a real sign like feel that it's right and then i would get the it's, but they, they go quick like i see something like a number and it's, it's really dark around right i just see the number and then it goes away and i have to look really hard and really focus to get a clear picture of it but it's really hard the numbers it was hard it took me like it was hard. And, then, and then i would see the numbers i would re remember them okay and, and, and the same thing happened for, no, 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 no. For the locations, it was different. It was different. For the locations, it wasn't like that. Okay, for the locations, so I'm moving the energy button and I'm trying to look. Okay, think, where, where is it? Where, where did he put the envelope? Where did he put the envelope? Really hard. And then I get a scene. I get, I get a picture. It doesn't take over the entire, it's still really dark, right? It's like a bubble. I see a bubble. And I see a scene, like a picture, very like defined, clear. It's not a scene of something that I've seen before. It's like a couple of seconds and I'm looking at the scene like, whoa, okay. Yo, it's there. So I get a scene. I see a wooden chair on the, on the right and I see a wooden table. I, I remember their form, like the shape of it. And they were in wood, okay, wood. This is the scene I get, but I don't see 
the envelope. I didn't even think about it really. Like, I just got the scene, and I was looking at the scene, and like I, I didn't try to think or like, like where's the what? I just got the scene. I didn't make much of it, but then, like, it it felt like very detailed, and I just had this feeling like, okay, it's there. The envelope is either on a wooden chair or a wooden table. That's the location. Okay, and then I had to find the cotton ball. I would look around, look around, it's really dark, right? And then I get like small glimpses, but then I get this, another scene. I see a window, I see a table next to a window, and I can see a garden, and it's day outside. I get that scene. Like, I, I look at, like, you know, it's not like an imagination or something, because it's very defined in colors, and not something that I've seen before. So, and then I have this feeling like, okay, okay, it's there. The cotton ball is near a window. It's on a table near a window. Okay. I got both locations right. I'm going to include a screenshot of the conversation I had with my partner as I'm telling him the information. And him confirming it. It's not like I told him, oh, maybe it's there. I'm not sure. I was very confident. I was like, okay. I will show you the conversation after. Okay, so the envelope is either on a wooden chair or a wooden table. That was my answer. I didn't like say, um, like, oh, maybe not, maybe not. And then I said that, uh, by, by the way, sorry if I'm excited or like talking fast. It's like a very intense experience. And I don't know if it was a coincidence. And then uh, I also, <laughs> I told him, okay, I just told him that, okay, the thing I can say for sure is that the cotton ball is near a window. He said, yeah, the cotton ball, I put them near a window. Okay, so the locations, as I said, were right. The numbers, so someone, after my experiment, I was reading it, someone said numbers are really hard to see. And I didn't get to see the numbers. I got the numbers wrong. But, by the way, so the numbers had to be between 1 to 100. Six numbers between one to one hundred. I got them wrong, but I did say four. But he wrote. He said he wrote forty-four. So that's oddly close. Like you know, as I told you, when I'm looking at the numbers, it's hard to see them. It's really dark, and they go by fast. But I remember seeing a four, like something like a four. He said forty-four. That's close. And I said fifty-one. He wrote sixty-one. And as I'm seeing, I can probably like confused the five for a six so those are the only two numbers that were similar but i got the other numbers wrong so that was my experience let me know if you think all of this was a coincidence and by the way me and some other uh, people that are doing the tapes write down our experiences with every tape on an online journal so if that's something you want to be a part of see other people's experiences and maybe write your own let me know in the comment section and i'll get it to get you the link and you'll see that it's very interesting that some of us have same experiences with the same tapes. So that's another sign to show, like, is it a coincidence? So that's my journey so far. I'll keep you updated and good luck with yours.